Okay, can you introduce yourself, name, crew, is that Well, y'all don't want to know. My name is Marcus Epic Flav Tucker, Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? I've been coming over to KL, to Malaysia since uh, 2007. I've done uh, a few different things. I've worked on Battleground. I work on Miss Nina, so everything we dance season two. You know, random stuff. Right, all right, all right. So you've been here for approximately how many years? Five? Oh man, it's a thick approximately five, five years. Yeah. 2007, right? Yeah. So how is the Malaysian dance scene from your point of view? Well, it's definitely grown a lot since since when I first came. You know, it's good to see now there's so many different dancers into so many different styles. You know, when I first came here, a lot of um, uh, dancers didn't even know about some of the original styles, and if they knew about it, they didn't have the proper education. Over the years, it's been more accessible. So, you know, you, you see the dancers growing a lot more and being more involved in some of the, in the original styles. Oh, cool. So which styles do you do exactly? Well, I like to think I do everything. Because <laughs> I'm a dancer and I feel that like as a dancer, um, if you consider yourself a dancer, I feel that your, your mission is to understand the dance of every style. So, I mean, I can say, yeah, I know lock-in, I know pop in, I know break in, I know house, I know old school hip-hop, I can do new school hip-hop, you know, so it's like, for me, uh, my journey as a dancer is to, was to understand the dance of each style. It also helped me find uh, uh, different sides of myself, you know, different emotions, different ideas, because I got to know other styles, and through those styles, I got to know myself. So what advice do you have for those who are coming into the industry? Like the, the ones that have been here, like maybe a few shorter years and you've been, like, let's say, three or two years. Mm -hmm. And for those who are just coming in? Well, um, the, for the dancers just coming in, I would, um, I would, I would recommend them to, to be very open and um, seek, seek, try to seek more than what is being offered to you, you know, because at the end of the day, it's still a, a growing process here. So when you get into the dance scene, you might not be offered as much as you could get if you, you know, went for it or looked for it, dig deeper. You know, if you want to be a part of the dance scene, understand it all, understand each angle of the dan dance scene, because then only then you'll know, you know, where you're comfortable, where you want to be, or what you want to do, or what you want to use. So be open-minded, learn from everybody, take, take, a, take a moment to learn from everyone. For you, like, let's say in the next three, four, five years, what do you want to see in the Malaysian hip-hop dancing? Oh man, what I want to see? <laughs> well, what I want to see is I would like to see the dance community come together. You see, the, one of the main issues that I have with the country is that um, it's too separated, it's too segregated. Uh, you know, this, the people um, choose a dance style or a dance genre and they just go over there. And then someone else teaches it and they go over there. And these people don't communicate, they don't cross, they don't learn from each other, you know. So certain events, they, they might make, come up with an event and then the event is for these people or for those people, it shouldn't be that way. There should be more events that involve everything. You know, every, every style of dance when it comes to hip hop or, you know, even street, even street jazz or whatever, all these things come together and function in the same industry. So there should be more programs that keep people involved with each other. So I would like to see the dance scene come together. I still feel it's too, too segregated. And I think as long as the dance scene is segregated, it's gonna take a lot longer to excel or reach that international level. For uh, programs like, let's say, dance styles like House, that are just beginning like to grow here, because I know, like, when it comes to popping, it is they decided to grow, but House is still at the basic level. Yeah. What do you want done with that, like, for the future? Well, um, for House, for those who understand uh, understand what House culture is, I think that um, those dancers should get more involved in the music side of it. Now, the hard part about that is that there's not many house clubs here that actually play good house music. So you kind of have to make a community within yourselves and gather up really good house music and listen and dance to that music. Because only then those people will start the culture that will be the beginning of the house dance culture here. 
Now there are a few people who know how Sarah, you know, I have a lot of uh, friends and students who have learned from me and some of the originators like Shah has been here. You know, once this information is out, we have to come together to create a community. Once we create a community, then we'll have the power to eventually create a club, a house club night that we all go to and enjoy the music and dance together. So, you know, um, if you're into house, find out who's into our house here and get involved with them, dance with them, have jams, you know. If you gotta take classes, take classes. This is the only way you're gonna learn. This is the only way that this community is going to be created. Mix it up, break dance, whatever you can. You get out of the stuff to it. Thank you for your time. No doubt. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be seeing you around. Right up, peace.